I've seen many people complain about hard disk manufacturers about their drive quality and specifically about drives arriving either dead on arrival or failing just days after installation. And it's completely understandable. It's really frustrating to buy a component that's DOA, but it's even worse if you've actually installed it, migrated your data, and then the drive fails a week later. And again, do please remember those backups and that drives are more likely to fail in the first few weeks after installation. So these problems are often reflected on as ire towards the drive manufacturer with comments like Seagate or Western Digital lost all my data when their drives failed two days after I got it. But is this fair? Indeed, one reason for this can be failures in the manufacturing process of the drive itself or in the components that are in the drive and or gaps in the QA process that failed to catch these bad drives. However, the most likely cause is simply damage to the drive in transit. And though hard drives are surprisingly robust, they are actually high precision mechanical devices. And if they do experience physical trauma or high G-force load during the shipping process, then the chances of failure increase greatly, either immediately or at some time later in the driver's life. So this problem is often caused by inadequate packaging, poor handling, and usually a bit of both. So in this video, I'm going to show you what good packaging for hard drives looks like and what bad looks like, what the results of the bad can be and how to spot them. And most importantly, how to minimize the chance that you get a failure in a drive shortly after you start to use it and depend on it. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a few examples of what you should expect when a drive is delivered. And first of all, here is an example from Scan UK. And if we open the box, it contains two drives. Um, this is a good sized box with packaging top and bottom and between the drives with wrap to stop them slipping around in the foam layers and most importantly the areas of protection are the corners. This box could take a fair bit of punishment and still shield the drives from direct impact or large sudden g-forces. So this is a good example of packaging drives. Next an example from Amazon UK where the original Seagate packaging has been used. And actually this also came in another external Amazon box with paper filler. And you can see it holds the drive in the middle of the box with an internal liner with extra layers of protection that keeps space between the drive and all six sides of the box. Most important, the corners are well protected with multiple layers of card. This liner allows some space to absorb sudden acceleration or deceleration. And this is good packing from Seagate. And a drive manufacturer ultimately best understands the risks to drive survivability so you can see what precautions in packing they feel are worthwhile to reduce returns and failures. Next example we have is a WD Purple drive and this got shipped directly from Western Digital. This one traveled from Holland to Germany and then to the UK via UPS, which for some reason took a week. And actually you can see it didn't have the easiest time in transit. If we look at another WD box example, we can see that the particular drive seems to be a bit more traveled, shall we say, than the other example. Opening the box, we can see that the drive is kind of suspended in these plastic shells. The end of the box is also double layered, so the drive is again protected from all sides of the box, and especially at the corners where most boxes take the hits. And on this box, you can see exactly this. It looks like the courier has either dropped or thrown this box at some point, maybe not aggressively, but you can see there's a slight dent in the corner. And this is the kind of impact that can be expected in transit with small boxes, and it's the kind of impact that can actually kill hard drives if they're not protected. So these plastic insides are soft and pliable and they're designed to be flexible so they can absorb hits as well as accelerative forces. Okay, so having looked at some good examples, let's see what bad looks like. And I had a few drives delivered in similar ways before from different retailers and with a nearly 100% DOA rate. So any retailers that might be watching this, please don't do this. It just results in returns warranty claims and waste. So it's not good for anybody. And here it is. And you can see that to start with, it's in a paper bag and that's not a good start. There could be a box inside that protects the drive, but it doesn't feel like it. I had ordered this WD Blue 6 terabyte drive from Amazon UK, but it was actually shipped from Amazon EU. Looking at the label, it seems to it's come from Amazon Logistics Center DTM9, which is near Dortmund in Germany. It then went to LCY8, which is in South East England and then going over to DHX8, which is around Redditch, which is just south of Birmingham, and then being delivered to me. And it took a couple of days, so it almost certainly came by road, as you'd expect. When removing the drive from this bag, it's just double wrapped in two very thin basic bubble wrap bags. 
these bags provide almost zero protection against drops and direct impact damage. And in particular, if you fill the corner of the drives, it feels like there's basically zero protection here. This is not good. And as soon as I saw this, I thought that there's gonna be a problem and this is just based on past experience. And, and actually, here's a past video of an Exos drive I received previously that came from a different retailer in a plastic courier bag with the drive just wrapped in bubble wrap. And in that case, there was actually a lot more of the wrap on the Exos than the WD Blue I have here today. But again, if you push the corners of the drive, you could feel them clearly and the bubble wrap wasn't gonna protect them. And you can see on this Exos a clear physical dent in the drive casing. And when tested, this drive was entirely dead, wasn't detectable in the NAS it went in. And what was even more irritating in this case is that I returned this drive, I received the replacement, and the replacement was wrapped in exactly the same way and had almost an identical dent on the same corner. Okay, so back to the WD Blue drive from Amazon EU. On initial inspection, the drive actually looks okay and I couldn't see any obvious damage to the drive. So I put this on for a full test and the test started fine. But about 30% of the way into the test, it started to make some pretty ugly noises, clicking sounds, etc. And then it actually managed to crash the virtual disk surface on Windows, which is both impressive and unimpressive at the same time. After a reboot, the drive went back to an uninitialized state and when initializing again in Disk Manager, it again crashed and wasn't recoverable until the disk was physically removed from the enclosure it was fixed in. Interestingly here, it's actually been marked as recertified. Now this wasn't on the listing and it also doesn't really make me a happy camper. No specific reason to think this is the cause of the failure, however. So let's take a little bit of a more careful look at the disk. So first of all, the PCB and the connector here, there is no signs of any damage, there's no cracks or anything out of place. The top plate also doesn't have any clear damage, but it's usually the corners where the hits are taken. So after very close inspection, I see what looks like a very slight dent on this corner here. It's honestly really subtle, and I even can't be 100% sure that this is the cause of the problem. But when I compare this to other drives, I just don't see this slight bending on the corner of these other discs. I would say this, combined with the drive failure and the quality of the packing, tells me what happened here, and I can't honestly blame Western Digital for this. Amazon probably buy these drives in boxes which are well protected and then they pull them out, they package them up and they ship them to customers. And I don't know what guidance or control is used to decide how these are packed, but clearly this isn't good enough and ultimately it's likely the cause of the drive's death. Okay, so some brief conclusions and you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, etc. to catch a lot of other storage content that I share here. These actual small things really make a difference to the YouTube algorithm and help me with my growth on my channel, so thank you. The first thing is that you really can't control how your drive will be packed and shipped. Those Exos drives actually came from a retailer I use often and I trust, and I've not had problems with them since, so it can come down to an individual in the shipping department. I get lots of drives from Amazon, and mostly they come in manufactured boxes, enclosed in Amazon boxes, and they are packaged great and they're absolutely fine. Occasionally I get one in a paper bag or a plastic courier bag, and so far, every single one that arrived this way went back because it failed to be detected or it failed during a full drive surface scan or write test. If you do get a drive that isn't adequately packed, inspect it well and look for dents, look for scratches or any other distortion in the drive shape, especially look around the corners of the drives because this is often where the damage occurs. And if you are in any doubt at all, return it. Also, I test all drives prior to use, but even if you don't have the time for this, any drive that is packed like this should be tested from top to bottom because the chances of failure really are far higher. And ideally, just don't chance it. Get it returned. And if enough of these get returned, I hope that retailers will eventually learn to do better. And as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next.